Alright, a quick video on how I take care of my super pubic and clean around it. It's pretty easy. I use hydrogen peroxide with some forceps or hemostats. They're uh, basically locking long nose tweezers that I can stick my thumbs through. And some two inch gauze pads cut so it wraps around the area. And some one inch medical tape. I use the paper tape because it tears easy and cuts a lot easier. Now with the pad you just go ahead and you cut a little wide. I have my aide go through and cut my entire box up. And the reason I have her cut it into a Y is because with just a strip it doesn't like to wrap around the tube as much. With it cut in a Y like that it wraps completely around the tube. And what this is, is I take a paper towel and I fold it up and I have it sliced into little one inch squares. And then I can just take the forceps or the hemostats, whatever you want to call them, and I lock it onto the paper towel and that allows me to dunk it into the peroxide and clean around the area. So let's go ahead and get a little demonstration for you so you can see exactly how it goes. Once it's locked in, you can shake it around and say it's not coming out. It's fantastic and the easiest place to pick these up is your local flea market, farmers market, um, online. They're only a few dollars. I think I paid three dollars for these at the flea market down the road from my home. Now I know what you're thinking right here, yeah, that, that dude must work out. Look at those abs, or lack of. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I deal, I deal with it pretty good. But I just use my mouth to bite the edge of the tape and unroll it, and then I snip a little piece off with the scissors and stick it to my controller. That way when I'm ready to tape it on, tape's ready, good to go, grab it, seal it across, super easy. Now I know what you're thinking, my mouth being close, well actually touching something that's going close to an open wound on my body, but I've been taking care of my super pubic this way for a few years now and I haven't had any infections. So wash your hands, be as clean as you can be, but you don't have to be spotless. No matter how clean you are, your germs are going to get into that area. And the best part about the hemostats is they, they fit down in there. So I just drop it in there, give it a little shake, and it soaks the little paper towel square completely. And these are just regular house scissors I got for cutting paper. I got them at Walmart for $1.88. You might even be able to find them cheaper somewhere else. But they get the job done, and that's all that really matters. I just snip the very edge of the tape. And then I reach down and I can tear it because it's paper tape. It's not very hard to tear at all. And this way I trim around the area. You can't see it too well from here. But I use some electric trimmers and I just trim around the stoma. Just to make sure I'm not ripping out all my hair all the time. I mean the paper tape doesn't pull as bad but I mean you're still losing hair. So if you're a hairy person, don't be scared. Trim it up. Trim it up. And I do have some sensation in the area and this will make me spasm from time to time but it's usually no more than a few seconds. I don't get any real pain from it. The peroxide doesn't cause any irritation and like I said I haven't had any infection so it seems to be working really well for me. I do get a little bit of discharge but nothing that can be deemed severe. You know, some days are better than others, but for the most part, it stays relatively clean. And then I just use another dry little piece of paper towel to just make sure I get any, any leftover residue and gunk from out of the area. 
dry it up. That way the tape sticks. So that's about it. Once it's clean and dried, add your gauze, put your tape on, and you're ready to roll. I definitely encourage anyone who has a super pubic and the ability to curl your wrist back, or even if you don't, to at least attempt this. I mean, it's pretty simple. It takes a little bit of time, a little bit of practice, but it's definitely worthwhile to, you know, add one more thing to your list of things that you can do and you know possibly take something off of a list someone else has to do for you which is of course always an amazing thing and adds to your independence but other than that I wish everyone luck in in the trying of this hopefully um, other than that have a great day and thanks for watching